Chris, do you agree with what Shaq is saying right here? Well, of course LeBron's a set as an all-time great, but Shaq is wrong. There's no question mm -hmm. about it. And what he's failing to, to take into consideration is that when Shaq began chasing rings, Phoenix, Cleveland, Boston, he was done. He was a role player. <laughs> he was no longer a superstar. He was a you backup know? center. Yeah, and so for him, he's right. Had he won a ring with Cleveland yeah. or Boston, it wouldn't have changed no. his legacy. No, right. You know, rings, when you win rings out of your prime, it doesn't change. Jason Kidd, he won it in Dallas. He was even a starter. But it didn't change his legacy. Gary Payton, who will be on here later. Yeah. With the heat. He, yeah, it didn't change his legacy. LeBron James is still the best player in the world. He's still playing at a superstar level. So every ring he wins impacts his legacy or doesn't win could impact his legacy. If he, everyone he wins gets him closer to Jordan, to equaling him, surpassing him, whatever, every ring he doesn't win could theoretically, I, I got him as the second best player already, but every ring he doesn't win, you know, could look at pe lead people to say, oh, Magic was better. Or, you know, especially if guys in this era, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, begin to win more <laughs> rings than LeBron. So, no, Shaq is totally wrong. I'm more with Kobe. Kobe said no, LeBron's got to figure out a way to get more rings. Now, once if LeBron were averaging 20 points a game mm -hmm. and fading, it'd be different. It wouldn't really matter. Sure. But when you're still in your prime, rings matter. Quick follow-up, Chris, on that note, though. Does LeBron risk losing more to his legacy if he chases but doesn't get those rings if he comes up short then just trying to get more rings on top of what he already has. That's a good question. And I don't even want to say LeBron would be ring chasing. Ring mm -hmm. chasing is when you're not that good anymore and you right. just go somewhere and ride coattails. He would be... He's in the hunt. He, yeah, he would be the driving force yeah. to getting mm -hmm. a ring. So that's different. But to your point, that's a great point. The easiest way out not way out, but the easiest thing for LeBron to do, if he wanted to avoid criticism, mm -hmm. he could just stay in Cleveland and no one would expect him to win rings anymore or even get to the finals. And so if he didn't win them, people would praise him for being loyal and nobody would criticize him for no longer winning it. And if he somehow just got Cleveland to the finals again, just like this year, right. he would be praised yeah. just for getting them to the finals. Forget winning it. So that would be the easy way out if he wanted it. You echoed exactly what I said. At that juncture of his career, Shaq was a complimentary player because his first year skip, he went from 23 and 10, playing 73 games in 34 minutes. By the third year he was there, he was 17 where, where? in Miami. Miami, yeah. By his third year skip, he was mm -hmm. 17 and 7, yep. playing 40 games at 28 minutes a game. Mm -hmm. So he dropped off by six points, three rebounds, 33 fewer games, six minutes. So now, Shaq, you're just a guy. Mm -hmm. yep. You're not the guy. You're a guy. And you're going... Plus, Shaq, you didn't have no say where they traded you. They got the best deal for you. LeBron gets to go. LeBron gets to go hunt wherever he wants to. You had no control like he has. See, I and, and, and LeBron said it. He says, being here and losing lets me know how much I want to win a championship. So that's what he's going to... Never accept anyone's definition of your career. Shaq, that was your career. That's the way you chose to handle it. You know why Shaq's career was already set? Because everybody wanted to remember Shaq from 92 to 03 when he was with the Lakers. Because that's when he was at his absolute apex. They knew Shaq. If Shaq wasn't going to train, eat right, do his due diligence mm -hmm. in his 20s and 30s, early 30s, what made you think at 33, 34, 35, 37, all of a sudden, he was going to have this re this epiphany? Mm. You know what? <laughs> I need to start eating better. I need to get this weight up off me so I can be the old Shaq. Mm. So they wanted to, re this is how they wanted to remember, Skip. We want to remember our heroes how we want to remember. Mm. And that's what Shaq, but LeBron James, he set career high in assistant rebounds mm -hmm. in year 15, Skip. Mm -hmm. He's not a complimentary piece. He's the piece. You know, a coffee table is a piece. Mm. It's a complimentary piece to a $50 million home. That you up there, Malibu. That $194 million place that just showed up, sold in Malibu, that's Braun. 
<laughs> yeah, that's Ron. So the, the mansion doesn't play defense? No, 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 this guy, man. Yeah, see, you, why you <laughs> ruin our conversation? So it didn't have a backyard or what? Yeah, it got I a... I don't know. Look here. <laughs> when you are 194 <laughs> men, you like 30,000 square feet, and you're <laughs> overlooking the ocean, oh, you don't need no yard. You don't need really? a backyard. Mm. That's right. The backyard is the ocean. So are you saying LeBron should reject your definition of his career? Because you've already defined it as better than Michael Jordan. No, 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 no. I, Skip, you and I just talked about this earlier. Chris, I don't know if you agree. There are going to be people in this camp that says LeBron is the GOAT. There are going to be people in this camp that says, no, Jordan is the GOAT. And there are people that might say a ring or two here or a ring or two there might sway them one way or another. Mm -hmm. But Shaq's interpretation of what he thinks LeBron's career is, mm -hmm. or you what Jordan, or what I think LeBron, that doesn't have to do with what he thinks his career is. Mm. Some of this is, and, and I brought up Kobe earlier, I think they both, Shaq and Kobe, have ulterior motives. Shaq is saying this because he only won four, you right. know? And, and so he's looking at it like, oh, don't go get more. It doesn't matter. You're set, right? Kobe's looking at it like it's all about rings, period, because he's got five mm -hmm. and LeBron's got three. So he's saying let's judge by rings. I judged Michael, Magic, Larry by rings. So judge me and LeBron by rings. I get where Kobe's coming from, but... I think they both have those. Of course. Well, but, no, but Kobe knows the truth that Michael was better than LeBron is. No. He just knows it. Well, first of all. Yeah, but I yeah. think he thinks, he probably thinks he was better than LeBron as well. Can I ask? He I wanna, would. Yeah. yeah. I want to ask Chris yeah. Bussard one thing. And you skip it. I want you to have, have your say of this. Have we ever thought a player in the history of any sport has ever been the GOAT with one regular season MVP? No. Uh, no. Gretzky is the goat because I don't, he, yeah, I don't think Kobe's the goat. Th that's what I'm saying. He wants to get into this discussion. I, I will say this though. I think Co Shaq's only got one MVP. I think the and I'm a voter. I've been a voter for I don't know 20 years or something. The MVP has gotten kind of. I mean, Steve Nash has two. Mm -hmm. He's got as many as Shaq and Kobe combined. So does Steph. Mm -hmm. Dirk Nowitzki's got mm -hmm. one. Steph's got more than yeah. It's so I, as much as so the MVP. The only are big, point that that is that I'm going to take to the bank that Shaq made is that LeBron, if he quit right now, his, his legacy would be intact with the billions of blind witnesses out there because a lot of people have already just jumped to the conclusion, the, 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 the lame conclusion, that LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. But they have. A lot of people have. You haven't gone there, but he's already gone there. Yeah. Right? Some people say oh, Michael Jordan is yeah. the GOAT. They've already gone there. Most know, but a lot of people, people say that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, people, okay, yeah. that's most. But is that all? Like that's just insane. <laughs> not, not all. It's most. I, I mean, it's just what it is. So. And I think most of the ones that say LeBron, uh, other than Shannon, yeah. are millennials. They don't remember really yeah, they seeing don't even the epic of Michael Jordan. They're just Michael looking at So I Correct. think Shaq is saying that he would advise LeBron to just stay in Cleveland and finish it out at home because that would be a feel-good story and do the best he can with whatever pieces he has and maybe they get back to the finals next year or maybe the next. I don't know. Maybe not. But it wouldn't matter because it's already set in stone. You would say set in Mount Rushmore stone mm -hmm. what he is or what he isn't. But if he does chase to Los Angeles, which I believe he will, then it's gonna, th there's only one way out of this to me, and that's to get Kevin Durant to come to L.A. Because if you don't, you're, you're going to – now you're just going to lose in the Western Conference Finals. Is Who's there it? another alternative, so you though? you wouldn't – you wouldn't – that's interesting. Yeah. If LeBron and Kevin Durant teamed up with the Lakers, you wouldn't be critical of LeBron for that? Critical to, to win LeBron. the ring? Because no. he's I mean, with the ring. You got the first, two, but, but he two would best be, players in the world. He, he would be doing what he always has done. He went to the Heat to, to chase rings, right? He was chasing his first ring. But here, the, the difference between what LeBron did and what Kevin Durant did, Miami lost in the first round. They won 47 yeah, games. LeBron, I, I, there is a difference, I think, no question. What Durant did was worse. Yes, yeah, 73 and 9. But in principle, it was similar. Yeah. It was stacking the team, stacking right. the deck. Because he didn't go there by himself. No, he brought uh, – Wade was he already there. He brought one of the yeah. best power forwards in the league, yeah. Chris Bosh. So, so I would give LeBron and Kevin Durant, even with a new team in the Lakers, I don't even know what pieces would be left around them, but I wouldn't care because those two together oh, – phenomenal. But they could dethrone Golden State without Kevin Durant. Well, yeah, he, he was the missing well, link. Well, first of all, if Kevin Durant's there, go, I don't, I'm not sure Golden State makes it to the finals. I'm not sure Golden State makes oh, it to the final without Kevin Durant. Without Durant. So, but, hey, there's, but there's no question. About about chips on shoulders, boy, they would, ooh. There's Steph no, and Clay and Draymond. Didn't have all the chips you want. Yeah. They ain't enough rocks. 
to be able to handle Kevin Durant and LeBron James. There's a reason why when he got that, he had the most votes in the All-Star game, who did he pick first? Oh. He could have had anybody. He could have got AD. He could have got Boogie. Uh-huh. He could have got anybody. Who did he get? They'd be a perfect tandem. Because, I mean, LeBron Ooh. has never had a guy he could pass to like nope. that. Not his, not his whole career. Chris Reese, I want to ask you about maybe some non-basketball motivations. Because I feel like the conversation is about him going to Los Angeles in only the pursuit pr- primarily of a ring. LeBron? LeBron. Is there any possibility that some of the attraction of L.A. is not just to get another ring, perhaps, but also to be in Hollywood, to be um, amongst all the other things that L.A. has to offer? I don't think being in Hollywood necessarily, but I think I think the two factors for LeBron are trying to win championships and his family. Okay. And, you know, his younger son, his oldest son is mm-hmm. going into eighth grade and obviously going to be starting high school soon. Mm-hmm. So I think LeBron is looking at this as, What's a good place I can settle down for the next several years sure. and my family's comfortable? Yeah. And that's where Cleveland and Los Angeles are, are clearly but the But you don't runner. think there's anything to the fact that LeBron is putting his name on some big-ticket Hollywood, either documentaries or different he series do, and all that? He's doing that from Cleveland. Yeah. He's doing it from I mean, Cleveland, do but it from you don't think he can do it at a higher level? No, because during the season, he's going to be playing okay. and practicing and traveling. And off-season, he's out here anyway. I mean, it might be a small factor, but... I don't think that's... I think those other two are way in front of... Yeah. Perfect, perfect. being in L.A. All right, Chris. Thank you so much for joining us. Always appreciate you. Enjoy Look at these two right here. Good luck. It's over now. Good luck with (laughs) Squad.